Hello everyone, I'm Lynn Califia Spragans, and I have the pleasure and the privilege of interviewing Link Alice Spragans, who's 104 years old. We're going to talk for a few minutes about the beginning of the Lynx chapter in Richmond, Virginia. Link Alice, do you remember when we moved from Raleigh, North Carolina to Richmond, Virginia um, in 1950, 51, somewhere in that area? Uh, you got a phone call from a friend of yours asking you to start a Lynx chapter in Richmond. Do you remember that? Yes, I do, vividly. I got this call on the phone. Alice, what are you doing? Nothing? You got something for me to do? Yes. We want a, a ch chapter of the Lynx in Richmond. I said, oh, that's good. Are you going to get one? Yes, and you're going to be the the person to help us to get it. I said, well, I haven't been here long enough to know too many people, but um, I'll do the best I can to help you. Well, get started, because we want a chapter in the capital of the Confederacy, and no link chapter, that's unbelievable. Who was that phone call from? I got a call from the, on the phone from Julia Delaney, who lived in Raleigh, North Carolina. So I gave them the names of the people that I thought would be the right people. So what did you do at that point when you had been charged to get these ladies together? I said, Emma, I need help. She said, of course, what? I said, I have been asked to start a chapter of the Lynx here in Richmond, and I don't know that those many people and she said, oh, well, I can't help you because I'm not a joiner. I'll, I'll call my sister, and I'm sure she'll help you. And that's how we did it. She called her sister, Laura Bright, and Laura told me to get Boots, my husband, to bring me to her house and we would sit down and get some names together, which we did. I was about 12 when we moved to Richmond, uh, and I remember a little bit about it, but not all of it. Could you tell us who were some of the women that you and Laura talked to about joining the chapter? As I said, there was two groups of sisters, Emily Chambers and Kate Henderson. That's the one group, one pair. Then we had Evelyn Shade and Bernie Hill sisters. Uh, Mildred Tynes was a transfer member from a, another chapter, but she was living in Richmond, so she transferred to our chapter. May Coleman, Julia Thornton, uh, Wilhelmina Banks. Oh, that's Laura's daughter. Hmm. That's Laura's daughter. Laura's daughter, yeah. Okay. Do you remember who were the officers of the original group? Laura Bright was the president. Uh, I think, as I can recall, Kate Henderson was the vice president. 
I'm trying to think who the secretary was. I know who it was. It was you. Corresponding secretary. But I don't know who, remember who the recording secretary was. It was formed to be of service to the children of the war widows, I call them, when the fathers had gone off the war. The, the women were left to raise these children. And everybody, every female, <laughs> was everybody's mother, every child's mother. That's the, that's the closeness we all had. And it worked very well. Charity work was the main purpose and plus helping to pay college tuition. That was the main thing. The Richmond chapter has been in existence now for 60 years. 60? Is there anything you would like to say to the new ladies in the chapter today? I want to congratulate you on keeping the chapter chapters alive as the old people said I'm alive and healthy and may I add wholesome so carry on and I'll be I'm gonna be with you as long as I can <laughs>